You guys asked for it, and here it is, the Magic Broom deck. But we need to win somehow with this deck, so we are running the Jafar Striking Illusionist and a whole new world combo as a way to finish games. There are a lot of Magic Broom cards in Lorcana now, and we absolutely must run four copies of Mickey Mouse Wayward Sorcerer to take full advantage of our brooms. Our deck does run slow though, with all the Jafars and brooms costing two or more to play, and let's be clear, only one broom and no Jafars cost two. We often and find ourselves playing very defensively, setting up characters to sing friends on the other side, or setting up our smaller Jafars to shift into the striking illusionist to sing swords to clear the board, or world to get ahead on lore. We also run four copies of Tinkerbell Tiny Tactician and three copies of Tinkerbell Giant Fairy to have a way of combating the sheriffs of Nottingham's out there and those relentless beasts. But also, Tink is great for singing our swords cards as well to clear up the board. The brooms themselves have a wide variety of abilities, retrieving cards from the discard, boosted attacks, giving resist, and recovering all the brooms from the discard. In an effort to balance all the uninkable cards in the deck, we're not playing any of the 6 drop uninkable brooms, it's just too costly. I very much struggled to even come up with anything to really utilize the brooms effectively, and I'm open to suggestions. But in the meantime, let's sweep the way for a whole new world. Okay, Amber Steel. Brooms by popular demand. I don't have a ton of confidence coming into this, but who knows? Maybe we will be pleasantly surprised. Let's get rid of all the uninkables. How about that? How about them apples? Uh, our quickest play is going to be a two drop, which is this guy. And I don't have another little Jafar, so maybe we do have the Jafar whole new world combo in the deck. We will see how much we end up needing to rely on it. I guess a part of the thought is being able to use this guy to get the whole new worlds back. Though it's not going to be the most consistent thing, I don't think. Especially considering he is our only two drop in the deck and there are no one drops. So like we want to play him. Ooh, double Mickey. Having two Mickeys out makes our broom super cheap. Let's see, I need to ink though. I need to ink. Oh boy. All well, this character's at a location. I don't actually have locations. It's just a broom in the deck. Because you guys wanted me to play brooms. Alright. Goodbye, Tinkerbell. Watch, we're gonna draw a little Tink now and I'm gonna feel sad. <laughs> I've been staring at the brooms for a while because it feels like it's going to be a fun deck. And I'm just coming up blank. Like knowing what what decks are out right now, like there's not a <laughs> there's not a good home for for the brooms. Oh, and I don't want to ink anything either. I want to keep both my Mickeys. Uh which brooms better? I mean, this one's got five toughness on them. He'll sing songs better. I have nothing to select, so I will push Ketzel. This, <laughs> this deck is a love letter to everyone that said play brooms. I just want to be super clear about that. I also have been getting a lot of uh, requests to make budget decks. And I've explained a lot why I don't play budget decks. But... If I end up playing some budget decks in the future, no, it is specifically for you guys. <laughs> like, that is it. That is the entire, entire reason I'd ever touch a budget deck on Pixel Board. Everyone has access to all of the cards for free on Pixel Board, which means everyone's playing the best versions of every deck. Uh, so playing budget just means you're choosing to lose every game on purpose. That's all it means. You're choosing to lose on purpose. <laughs> and that's kind of what it feels like I'm doing with this deck, because I'm choosing to lose on purpose. Let's see if I can't get a little too far. Cannot. Not cool, game. Not cool. Not that I could have played it anyway. Well, the good news is, is I do have a Jafar, so the game's not actually technically lost in this moment. It's not looking good, <laughs> but it's not lost in this moment.
It's a little too late for Mickey to actually be good, but you know, here we go. And pass the turn. How much discarding is their deck actually going to do? I wonder. I was going to say, Mr. Smee should be dead. Uh, shuffle all the brooms back into our deck. Yeah, that feels like a good solid play right here. I like that. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else should I do? Let's sing and... Well, let's not sing. If I sing... We may have different problems. I got a big boy broom. Let's keep Mickey. Let's not quest. Ink and pass. Mm, this is not your name, is it? It's not magic broom. It's well, it is magic broom, but it's a uh, magic broom swift cleaner, not quick cleaner. All right. Well, let's destroy you. I'm going to keep the second Jafar, just in case they can deal with him. You know, funny enough, not looking bad. <laughs> Go ahead, get all your cards back, that's fine. If I play the second Jafar, that would be brutal, wouldn't it? Can we survive a turn? Two Jafars in play? Oh, can we do it? They both have to be exerted for them to gain the lore, so that's why we waited and didn't play a whole new world here. Oh, my heart's kind of going. <laughs> it's a broom deck. <laughs> I'm gonna win off Jafar. I should have probably sang the other song, but whatever. I'm just so excited to get double Jafars. Oh good, they fixed them. Well that was fantastic, let's just win the game. <laughs> oh, double Jafars for the win, holy smokes. And look at that, I had another whole new world to go. 20 31 lore! It's the most lore I've ever, ever been at! Holy smokes. Okay. Amber Amethyst. Oh boy! Broom deck sucks. I, I'm trying to give you guys, like, interesting content where, like, the deck actually does some cool stuff, or at least something interesting. I've lost, like, 10 games straight with this deck, if I'm being totally honest with you. Don't play this deck. Build a better version, at least. Because this is awful. Like, I'm constantly finding myself like, well, gotta go for Jafar, because that's the only way this deck can win. <laughs> and that's pretty bad, if that's the only way this deck can win. Ooh, I don't like seeing two. Alright, we're gonna have to move fast. These are usually pretty aggressive colors, and my deck is very slow to get on the board. I'm gonna see, like, a Lilo, Maleficent... That's the one that can sack itself. Got a lot of uninkables in hand. That's not gonna help me. Especially if I want to commit something to the board. Yep, an aggro deck. Swords off the top would be sweet too. But not right away, but to go with Jafar. You just got a bigger butt. I'm gonna go with you. Alright, a little bit at the mercy of top deck gods. Let's hope I don't get uninkables. I know I'm the forever uninkable guy, but I would like for that to not happen. 
All right, opponent did make a mistake. They should have quested first. All right, our goal here is to slow down the opponent. Alright, we got a... As long as I get an ink, we got a next turn Jafar. Come on, deck! Ah, oh, thank you, deck. I was nervous, because, uh... My decks love to give me the uninkables. A whole new world! Oh, another one. I need a different broomstick. I need the one to get the whole new worlds back. <laughs> Alright, that's not gonna win me the game. Because I lost two whole new worlds in that. <laughs> well, the good news is, is that their aggro deck isn't aggroing very hard. See, we're likely just gonna play two characters. Definitely Tink, because it's got the draw, which combos with the Jafar, and then Benja. Possibly both Tinks, just to have the double draw effect. Because then I can filter while still getting the lore that they would have otherwise quested for. Let's give that a go. Two tinks for filter. So I'm gonna see four cards next turn. Right? One, two, three. At least, well, yeah, four with Maleficent. <clears throat> they has their own Jaffa. Good thing it attacks not strong enough. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, let's think. So let's start with these guys. And I will discard you. Oh, I was supposed to quest first. Son of a gun! I'm supposed to quest first. Discard you. And then I think I just have to play this. Just takes out so much of their board. But keep the Mickey because he can quest for two. Screwed up the Tink. I'm supposed to quest the Jafar first. I should be at 11. Should be at 11, Laura. Bodyguard. When this character is banished, you gain two lore. Okay. Interesting. Alright, not what I need. Let's. Start here. Oh, uh, let's get rid of the uninkable. Oh, that's a draw card. All right, Mickey, you're gone. Let's draw a card. Do I put anything back into their deck? Why don't you have the Stitch, the Pluto, and the card draw? I'll let you thin your deck for me. Even though while I'm actively bolstering it. <laughs> Alright, let's start here. Uh, I actively don't care about either one of them, so... Keep you there, and then I will draw it. 
And I can still ink. So I will still ink. Alright, I think I just have enough lore on board to win the game. Perdita, I don't know what you do. When you play this character and whenever she quests, you may play a character with cost two or less from your discard for free. Well, that's cool. On play and on quest. All right, so I should just win the game right here, right? One, two, three. Oh, you quest for two. Okay. I was not aware. And victory. Easy! Don't play this deck! <laughs> like I said, I lost like 10 games in a row. It's not very good. Broomsticks is not where it's at. Whose idea was it to play this deck? 